All right, we're going to see. We're going to see if anybody jumps on here. Hey guys, it's Thomas is having out a little fishing. I just want to let you know I just hit 10k and I appreciate all you guys. Appreciate it. I'll give it a few minutes here. Hey, full full throttle fishing team. Hey man, if you're doing all right. This is just going to be a really normal uh, live stream. Just answer, ask some questions. Let, ask me whatever you want. I just, I just, I just want to say thank you guys for for helping me get to 10K. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really pumped right now. I just, I've been waiting for this for a long time, and uh, yeah, I just kind of out of words, but, <laughs> but yeah, I just. Just want to jump on here and real quick and just tell you guys thank you. Thanks, top notch. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, just uh just happy. I'm just I'm just glad to Glad to finally finally be at 10K. Finally. Yeah, all, all's, all's going good. Top notch. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's been a while, man. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I, I you know I guess it's my fault I hadn't got as many uploads this year as I as I normally have. I've been been doing been just busy this year. Just very, very busy, but um it finally happened and i'm i'm just thank you guys appreciate appreciate all the support all the uh the sharing and and messages you guys send me and uh thanks chris appreciate it brother appreciate it man i'm, I'm tickled to death uh thanks for all your all your support all you guys i mean it it, it really 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 means means the world to me I, mean, I can't say that enough but i told you i told you last night if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram at southern outdoors fishing and uh just yeah you know, that's, that's the just follow me on that I, I post all kinds of stuff on there if you don't already follow me on that but i said last night and chris i know you i know you uh seen the message or the or the post that as soon as I hit 10K, I was going to go live, and that's exactly what I did. So, uh, you know, I just – get this a little closer. So I just wanted to uh, wanted to let you all know that I hit it, and I went live. Can you all hear me all right? Can you all can y'all hear me fine? Okay. Thanks, Top Notch, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Luke. Hey, man. This is my son's friend, uh, Luke. Uh, he watches my videos. Big, big shout out to him. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Chris, thanks, man. Thanks. I, I, I felt like I would, but you never know. All things, all things, uh, all things said to change, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know how YouTube is. Sometimes they'll you'll be at one point and then all of a sudden they'll say, Oh, we got a bunch of subscribers that's inactive. We'll just get rid of them. <laughs> and they and there goes your uh subscriber. So <laughs> I've I've lost 20 or 30 subscribers in, in one shot. So <laughs> you just never know. Let's see here. Hey man. Inshore Inshore Yacker TV. Good to see you on here. I'm I'm doing good, man. Appreciate it. Let's see. Brian, thank you for jumping on here. Arizona. Wow. Thanks, brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, top notch. That's, that's probably a good idea. That's all you know. Um, waiting for rain, especially if it's thunder and lightning. Whew, it's not good. <laughs> but appreciate you jumping on here, man. 
Real means a lot. <laughs> Luke, I appreciate your support, buddy. I really do. Means a lot. Ah, coming to Southport this weekend. Guess what? I'll be at Southport this weekend. <laughs> I'll be down there Saturday evening through the neck. Well, Friday. I've actually actually got a wedding to uh film on saturday so virginia fisherman hey man i don't know if i already said that or not but uh, i appreciate it man appreciate you jumping on here so yeah i'm i just let y'all know a little something else that I've, I've been going on let's see right in here oh yeah Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll shoot you a message here in a little bit, Chris. Sure will. Thanks, dude. Top notch, man. You, you've all, you've always been a great supporter, man. I, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Yeah. I, 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 I remember some guys that that's been with me for ever since about 300 subs and, Man, that's that's it's been a while back, but you know, I, I just I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks on target fishing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Okay. Yeah, just give me a just give me a shout in, in uh inshore yacker. Um, just call me or text me or whatever. If you don't have my number, just, just let me know. I think, I think you've got it, but just, just let me know and I'll, I'll send it to you. Let's see. Jack, Jack Van Fleet. Thank you. Thank you. Lizard lore. Okay. Let's see. Missouri Fishman. The lizard. Oh, oh, uh a plastic lizard. I think that's I think that's uh probably what you're talking about. I'm not sure. The lizard lore. I don't know. Uh caption DC yesterday. Okay. Let's see. Did you catch anything in, in D.C., Virginia Fishman? Hey, Scotty Hill. Appreciate you joining in, 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 the, uh, in the stream here. Appreciate it, man. I say this is just informal, so ask any questions that you might have or, you know, we'll just talk, have fun. And this is actually my very first live stream by myself, so. If I seem a little nervous or jittery or <laughs> whatever, it's, it's true. I am. But I appreciate everybody jumping in here and and uh, showing us support. Like I said, it really means a lot to me. All right. Well, hey, at least at least the at least the uh, the stunt the skunk didn't come bite. Virginia Fisherman. Thanks, Scotty. I appreciate Ah, oh, let's see. I can't hardly I can't hardly see my eyes. <laughs> let's see. Tommy Tech, Tommy Tech Outdoors. Thanks how you pronounce that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, no skunks. We don't like skunks. Sometimes it happens, but you know. We don't like them. Thank you, Scotty. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Uh, actually, Luke, the next video I'm going to be doing is a video on uh, these. These are the new Cast King sunglasses. Um, if you can see them or not. They are the... Uh, 
Hang on a minute. These are the ones I just bought. These are the Skidaways. These uh, these right here, the copper color. I just don't want to review on them. I got these and another pair. So, uh, you know, I just want to do a quick review on these and let everybody know how good they are. They're, they're awesome. I mean, I, I I love them. They're very, uh, I, I, love, I like the color. They fit my head really well. I've got a pair of Costas, Costa, how do you pronounce it? Anyway, I've got a pair of those and, you know, just, these i like these because they're so much lighter and they fit my face so much better and they look pretty cool so um a buddy of mine said they they're very 80s with the orange on them i don't know they just look cool so i got some like this and i got another pair if you follow me on instagram you probably saw. that's what my next video is going to be about just something like that and then just so you guys know i'm going to be doing a big 10k giveaway so just to let you guys know that um, I've, I've, I've been emailing my my channel partners, uh, people I've, I've helped in the past with, with videos and and just different things. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm going to try to get try. I've got I've got several of them message now. Uh, I've got several things that I'm going to be giving away, but uh, I'm going to be doing I, I still got a couple more that I've, I've got to get in touch with. So be on the lookout for a 10K giveaway video. So that will be coming up shortly. Let's see if I can get caught back up here. Uh, all right, Top Notch. I appreciate I appreciate you jumping on here. Uh, if you're gone, hope you slay some big ones, man. Let's see. Oh man, it's 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 been hot. It's been so hot here, so so hot. <laughs> I, I just uh, um, it's about being unbearable at times. Of all of all, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, 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 Jack, thanks, man. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I, know, I think I know which video you're talking about now. Thank you. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. I got to get out there and do some bass fishing. I have not had a lot of time to do bass fishing this year. Not a lot of it, anyway. I've been, I, I joined the NCKFA's tournament, uh, online tournament and every year, every month they have a different species. So I've been trying to follow that. Like one month it's maybe crappy, one month it may be catfish. Excuse me. One month it may be like smallmouth is this month. So we've been trying to get up on the new on the new river, do a kayak trip down the new river. Well, as y'all know, who live around here, here in North Carolina or close by, it's been raining and raining <laughs> and raining some more. So, you know, just, uh, yeah, we haven't been able to get up there. The water is too high, too muddy, and uh, just not safe to, to, to do that right now. Um, if you guys would do me a real quick favor, um, give me a thumbs up if you hadn't already and share this video. I mean, I'd, I'd love to. I've got, looks like four people in here now. I'd love to get a few more if, I mean, I know it's four o'clock. So, you know, a lot of people will probably catch it later, but, uh, it, you know, if you, if you got a minute, you know, hit the share button and share it with, you know, on your social media or whatever. I appreciate it. Uh, anybody got any questions? Oh, okay. Appreciate it, Luke. <laughs> anything? Anybody want to talk about anything? Hey, Patrick. Appreciate it. Appreciate you jumping in here, man. So, I guess I guess I'll I'll tell you guys this. Uh, one thing that I've been I've been doing a lot of here lately uh, is. Well, 
trying to do is video editing for a a company. I'm well, I guess you call it company. I'm starting. Um, it's uh, it's going to be called Blue Road Media. And you're thinking Blue Road? What in the world is Blue Road? Let's see. Fishing, uh, fishing. Uh, I'll get back to what I was just talking about here in a minute. Uh, fishing tips for murky and muddy waters. Uh, yeah, fish dark colors. Uh, let's see. Fish, fish things that vibrate. Uh, spinner baits. Uh, you know, rattling baits of whatever kind jigs with rattlers on them had luck with that um larger more pro larger baits bigger profile uh will help to help them fish be able to see the bait um you can even try some scents you know uh but i think i think the the darker colors because it because when it goes down the water it's going to be more of a the fishing will be able to see that a lot better uh, rather than a, a clear bay because ain't you ain't gonna be able to see it. So, hey Terry, what's up? What's up, man? Appreciate you jumping in here. Um. Okay, thanks, Patrick. I, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, Luke Taylor, I said hello too. Uh, especially for bank fishing. Um, yeah, same, same deal. Uh, I fish whenever I fish a muddy pond or, 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 you know, river or whatever, you know, that, that, those are just the things I use, uh, the ways I fish as well. So, but no, um, what I, what I'm, what I'm, starting to do is is uh is start a where i'm filming like weddings i've had several requests for weddings so i've started filming weddings and i want to make it where i want to start an llc so i could um be protected so uh yeah yeah, I've seen people do that before. I've seen people put uh, put put sin on on hard baits. Sure have. You know whether it was luck they fish they caught fish or where it was a bait. I mean the the scent, You know, that's that's kind of that's kind of hard to tell. But they caught fish. If that tell you something. Uh, right now, I, I shoot with this uh, Panasonic G eighty five. But I'm I'm going fixing it. I'm fixing to get the Panasonic GH5S. So I'm going to start shooting with that. And uh, I just I just got to get. I, I'm in a, I'm in the process of doing all this. So you know I, I I before I can purchase anything for that business, I've got to uh, I've got to get all started. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Chris is Chris, man. He he he's he's an awesome guy. He really is. He he is he has showed me so much support uh, on this channel. I mean, just it's it's yeah yeah. Chris King, man. If y'all guys go subscribe to Chris King, he has an awesome channel. He he he, he works so hard. To put out content on his channel i mean he really really does uh he makes great content he he is a hard hard worker putting out that content on his channel so if you guys have not subscribed to him go subscribe to him and y'all subscribe to each other too um you know that's that's the way we all grow i mean but uh anyway yeah that's that's what i shoot with i'm gonna i'm gonna get the panasonic GH5S, and I want to get the uh, DJI Ronin S gimbal. So right now, I don't really have anything. I was thinking about getting a glide cam, but instead, I'm going to go with the gimbal. So, um, 
and I, and if you want to if you want to see these videos that that I'm doing, uh, I've I'll, I'll have that. I'll have that real soon. I've actually got a a, a YouTube channel started where I'm going to put all my work on on that. Uh, so you'll you'll be able to go see see that. If you if you want to subscribe to the channel, I don't have anything posted as public yet. But the channel is going to be on YouTube. It's going to be called Blue Road Blue Road Media LLC. So if you want to check that out, you know I'll I'll have it. I just got to get everything. I just got to make sure everything is, uh, is right now. And so far it is. Uh, so, you know, I just want to, I just want to make sure I have all that taken care of before I make it public. Cause right now I just, I put it, I put everything on there that I shoot. That's, uh, that's for the customers and clients. So, Use a uh, use a black lizard. You try a black lizard or a black lizard with a chartreuse tail. I think that would I think that that'll help, especially in that in those muddy waters. Ronnie, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for being a new subscriber, man. I, I, that really means a lot. Let's see. Uh, you say, uh, Patrick, you, you said marsh. Um, are you talking fresh water or salt water? Realistic. Hey, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Guys, if y'all have not subscribed to Realistic Fishing, you probably already have, but if you have not, go check him out. He's got a great channel. Uh, he has some, uh, has some good videos on there. Saltwater. Um, if you guys have not tried this bait, I would I would like for you to try this bait. Uh, it's called the Gulp Mantis. I use it with a uh, like an archie head, like a uh, I think it's probably anywhere from a, a quarter to three eighths ounce, and I just I bounce it. I use a uh, inshore setup, like a three or four thousand uh reel and you know seven foot rod and i'll i'll cast it and around oyster rocks uh structure of whatever kind it might be and but the the it, it's it's like i said it's called the the gulp mantis and the colors i have the best look with is the white white with chartreuse tails and also the new penny with chartreuse tail uh for muddy water especially so let's see Uh, fishing in a small pond, I would use a weightless worm. I hadn't tried the mantis in freshwater, but I'm sure it would work. I'm sure it would work just fine. I mean, it's just got that, that scent to it, which that's what the fish seem to attract to. I mean, you can throw out something that don't have that scent on it and not get bit and then throw out something that and throw out that mantis shrimp in the same place and get bit by something. Usually, it may be a pinfish or a croaker, but something will usually hit it. Let's see. Uh, the model 
So I'm not sure if you're talking to me or somebody else. Uh, the model, perhaps, of, of what? Oh, pH bottom feeders. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all jumping on here. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Feel free, kayak. Okay, which Patrick? Which uh, which one do you have? What model is it? Or what length is it? I guess you might say. And guys, that's. I mean, if you like kayak fishing, that's that's what I mainly do now. I mean, that's. So if you got friends or whatever that that likes to kayak fish, you know, send them my way if if you would. I mean, I'm always, I'm always uh trying to put out videos that that's kayak related, but I just got into liking that type of fishing. Eleven and a half. Okay, I. Th think if i remember right that's like uh the weight of it i believe is i think it's around 80 pound 80 or 84 something like that i'm thinking that's that's straight boat with that's nothing in it but i think it's around 80 pound give or take a pound or two traveling fisherman man Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Are you, hey, are you up in uh, Alaska still? Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. My, my, actually, my sister-in-law is up there right now. She's in, I can't, I can't remember exactly where she's at. I think she's in Anchorage. I'm pretty sure she's, she's in Anchorage. She's a traveling nurse. Let's see. Now, how far away is that from, from Anchorage, uh, traveling, fishermen? Oh, yeah. Kayak fishing is very addicted. <laughs> it is very addicting. I love it, man. It is awesome. Uh, oh, okay. Too, okay. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I love I love some kayak fishing, man. I and I, actually, I was I, I I told you guys in in one video, I think maybe in the last video I did, where I, where I built the kayak trailer, um, the two well, actually four kayak trailer uh, that I was going to get a PA, excuse me, a Hobie PA this fall. Excuse me, but um, I'm actually going to wait till spring uh, to get that. So because I want to, I want to get my stuff my camera equipment for my business and then and then once i do that i'll have some money to to to, to put that to get it in the fall in the spring so i'm just gonna wait till spring to do it oh yeah I, yeah if you if you yeah definitely um definitely would recommend kite fishing The, the thing about kayak fishing, well, I, I work at a kayak shop. I mean, I, I work in, in a place in Greensboro that sells them. I'm, I'm their kind of kayak fishing expert, if you want to say. I don't know. But anyway, I, people come in there and want to know about kayak fishing, and that's that's my job to help them out. I'm picking, picking out the kayak. The thing you want to know about kayak fishing is the, the wider, the more stable, and the, the longer – the, more, the faster it's going to go and you know it's going to track better so that's you know that's 
kind of got what you got to look at. If you get a 10 foot kayak, it's not going to track what, real well. When you're paddling, it's going to, it's going to do like this right here. Every time you paddle, it's going to go like that and the wind's going to get you real bad. Uh, so just kind of be aware of that. Be aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. I've got an outback. I can stand up in mine. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I also tell people that too. Yeah. Try out some, be sure to go and try out some kayaks. Uh, that's the only way you're going to know what, what kind of kayak that you really going to be comfortable with. I mean, what works for me, it may not work for you. I mean, I may be a bigger guy. I may need a bigger kayak. I may, I may be, need something more stable where if I'm a hundred pound, I can stand up, you know, got good balance. I can stand up in pro pretty much any kayak almost except for the real small, small ones. But for, you know, for, you know, most people, you need to try out kayaks, try out several of them. If you can, uh, go, go to the shop. They, I mean, go to kayak shop, Normally they have demos you can take out. You may have to pay a small fee to, to demo them, but at least you get an idea of what you like, what you don't like. And plus that money will usually go towards a new kayak. So just, you know, do that. I mean, that, that, that makes, uh, that makes for a lot better experience. So you don't have to go spend a lot of money buying multiple kayaks. If you get one, you don't like it trying to sell it make money off of it to buy another one and the process just goes on and on um recommend for the first time uh if you're not planning on standing up uh you can get like a a tarpon 100 uh by wilderness or not 100 or one well a 100 or it depends on how tall you are. A 100 is, is a 10, foot, so it's not going to track as well as a 12 foot, but it, it's a good boat for a, a younger person. Um, the Flint, uh, the new canoe Flint is a, is a great boat. Um, we sell so, several of those. Um, we, we demo that boat a lot. <laughs> um, but our biggest sellers is the Hobie. I mean, they're a great outdoor provision company. I said where I work at. That's that's what we sell the for the the most of uh, is the Hobie brand. Um, we sell a lot of the Outbacks. We sell a lot of the PAs. Um, so we sold s several of the other Compass this year, um, but more uh, on the uh, the Outbacks and the, and the PAs, whether it be a twelve or fourteen. We sell a lot of those. Yeah, and it's 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 whatever you like. I mean, as far as what kind of kayak you get, I mean, if it fits you and you like it, hey, that's that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Uh, let's see, did I miss something? Okay, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't get to go to ICAST this year. I wish I had, but we was in Kentucky on a on a camping trip. Uh, we went to uh, Mammoth Cave, uh, Creation Museum, Lincoln's Birthplace, the Ark, and Red River Gorge. That was that was that was pretty fun. That was a fun trip. We also went to uh, Kingman. It's a racetrack, horse track, and and kentucky and we went to uh uh shoot let me think of the name of it uh, it's not boonsville fort is it fort boonsville i can't i can't can't remember but went to uh a ford up there too Any tips on catching big fish in saltwater? Uh, 
Usually I bait. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I mean, usually. Um, usually I bait. Um, Pogues, finger mullet. Uh, are you talking about inshore or offshore? And what species? Let, if you can, let me know those things. Well, as far as I see, inshore redfish fun. Um, I like using I like using poies and finger mullet on a Carolina rig. Um, I cast them around docks. Um, I mean, I, you know, if I if I can get my hands on on those on finger mullet or, or uh, poies, Manhattan, that's what I'll that's what I'll try to get a hold of and use. I've just had the best luck with it. I mean, it, hands down, they're going, they're going, they're going to swallow up a finger mullet or a pogey. Oh, excuse me. And trout, uh, probably trout for me is a voodoo shrimp. I like using those voodoo shrimps. Uh, they work really well. Um, the uh, the savage shrimp, not the not the real there's i can't remember the size of it but it's like a medium size it's about like that i guess about three or four inches long uh those work really well too i really like using those um i'm fixing to go hopefully uh i'm not going to say the place because i don't want to uh give it out but <laughs> but um i'm gonna, hopefully gonna go catch some big bull reds next week when i'm down at the coast um so i'm looking i'm looking at uh hopefully catching the 40 40 plus fish hopefully um and hopefully the water be cleared up we, we've had so much rain here the water like i said i don't know if i, I think i mentioned earlier but the water down the coast has uh just been so nasty i mean it's just like black tea but hopefully the the water be cleared up but i'm not really looking forward to you know looking to, to see that right now because we, we just keep getting storm after storm after storm here and like i said the cape fear river runs right into the ocean and it just it's got everything muddied up down there my favorite fish to catch uh oh gosh um if i could catch them if i could catch them as much as i'd like to catch them probably red drum uh uh mark c thanks for uh joining in uh my my pb flounder is a 24 or 24 and a half inch i can't remember at 4.6 pound i think and the video is on my channel uh i called it and let's see redfish i've called a 20 no 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 a 30 a 32 32 inch red so i'm i'm hoping to break that next week uh whenever i go to the coast hoping like i say i'm hoping to get like a 40 plus actually close to 50 And that's going to be fun. Take a take a uh, a lightweight setup and go out there and try to try to catch one of them things. Man, awesome! Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. appreciate you jumping on here and uh, and taking part in the in the stream. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get to go. I, I ain't sure if I'm 100 if I'm gonna get to go do that or not. But if I do, I'm looking forward to hopefully catching some fish. I mean, normally, normally if the fish are there, you can catch 
four to six a day. Uh, if they're not there, you, you know, you, 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 you may be catching one. But hey, I'll take one <laughs> to catch a fish that big. I have not done that yet, so I'll okay, I'll, I'll be happy with one. Redfish are just man. It's like I can't even, I can't even describe it. It's like a uh, it's like a smallmouth. It's, it's 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 like a I don't know. I'd say it's like a smallmouth, but I ain't caught that many smallmouths. But um, let's see. But uh, they they just fight. They just fight so hard. The only thing about a redfish is they don't jump. Um, I've heard people, some people say if there was a if there was if if redfish can jump could jump there would be no bass tournament. I don't know. <laughs> there wouldn't there wouldn't be a uh, any bass tournaments because everybody would want to catch redfish if they jumped. I don't know. Just, I've heard that before and it kind of makes sense. Cause they are such a hard pulling fish. It is so fun. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to wrap this thing up. We got three people on here, and uh, looks like everybody else has done kind of jumped off. But like I said again, I just want to I just want to say thank you, guys. Um, thank you for jumping on here and showing me your support. And uh, Help me get help me get ten thousand. I mean, it's it's so much greatly appreciated. Uh, just you know, I ain't I ain't got the words to tell you that you know. Just really appreciate it. I mean, I don't know what to say, but um, just thank you. As be watching for the for the the ten k giveaway that I plan on um I plan on doing here for too long. Um, like I said, just got a cup, got to receive a couple of emails from a, another couple more companies. And once I get confirmation on that, I'll be posting that giveaway. So real looking forward to it. Um, and, uh, well, just, just help me, just help me reach the next K, the next 10, 10 K, 20 K, whatever. So, um, I appreciate, appreciate it. Uh, Mark and Patrick, I think you guys were left, and uh, Tommy Tech Outdoors, thank you. I um, appreciate it. Well, guys, I'm going to jump off here, and uh, again, thank you. Y'all have a good evening. I'm going to be working on this uh, on these sunglasses mm -hmm. video. I got I got that to get out, hopefully, today. <laughs> so uh, I, I told him I would, so I'd go ahead and try to get that knocked out. So but I want to get this done because I said I would. And, uh, and I, I, like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there at, uh, Southern outdoors fishing. And, um, I look forward to, uh, look forward to see you there as well. All right, guys, I am out. Y'all take care. Thank you. God bless you. And, uh, happy fishing. Go, go out and get you some, catch you some fish and, uh, Tag me in them. Tag me in them. I'd love to see them. Later, guys. Peace out.